Good morning, sweetheart. What happened last night? You refused to talk to me. I was hoping to. Does this amuse you? Mm hmm? Are you entertained by all the drama going on in my life? Tifto, you know that's not true. I'm just glad that your father is back. And I'm sure he'll find a way to upturn the travel ban. I know you have a fighting spirit. I'm the pessimistic one, remember? Jess is the pessimist. <laughs> but this is how we work. The two of us, we come in. We complement each other. It's Tifdo and Jesse. Better together. Fighters forever. And nothing can. Can you just stop? Just shut up and get out! Get out! Tifto, I know you want to give up. But you're stronger than this. Please, please don't give up, please. I What is it again now, eh? Tunji, I think this plan is going too slow. Diana don't already remember who Tefa be. She don't remember Ram. Maybe we'll just go back to the original plan now. Use pregnancy, blackmail this man, collect money, make me move. No, now. Uh -uh, we can't do that now. See, we need to be very careful. If not, she go suspect us now. Eh? Now you they waste time now. Now you they waste time. Yes, I hear. I... Ah! Ah! I, hey, hey, sis, um, I, um, do you need anything? Um, I, I'm actually on my way to work. Do you need me to get you anything? Tefagiad, you said that he's the father of my unborn child. Well, I want to know more about him. Like, how did we end up sleeping together? What is he about? What, uh, um, what is he uh, like? Diana, um, let's be serious here, okay? I, I really don't know who Giado is, but I promise you we'll get to the bottom of things, okay? I, I, have, I have to go to work, okay? Diana, I ain't get half on I am sorry, now. See, I'm sorry for, for what thing happens. I think sell your jewelry, come leave you as compare they chase you up and down all over the place. See, it's not like that. You understand now? See, babe, man must work. Hustle hard for legal soon. I can make it up to you. How? Okay. I I hear for you say Mr. Giado has been released. I will take you to him. I know where he lives. Really? Confirm. <laughs> okay. What? 
Oh my. Hey. Hey. How far now? What happened yesterday? Hey, you found my gun. I died. And then she started asking me questions upon questions. Hi. Hey. Hmm. Children of my days, sir. Uh, hmm. They won't just know everything. I did tell you. Uh, but we might. That is not enough excuse for the boss to hear about you. You didn't hear me so. Let her not let him hear at all say anything like that happen. Do you hear? I don't hear. My wrong to the matter. Hey, Eddie, I beg come. Confess now. What is up? Uh, I beg. Me want know. Which type of work would you do for you? I don't understand. Like, waiting again, which I don't understand. The guns. Who owns them? Are they legal? And where were you guys going yesterday? See, maybe they say na driver work, I can't do it. Because I don't understand. Guys, shut up. What did they worry you say? Uh -huh. My advice for you say, eh? If you ask too much questions for this place, so you do so now, your death right is you answer the call. You hear me so? I carry you call on this. Drive. Not be driver, it's me you can't do for this place. Drive. Huh? You hear that you talk to? I don't hear. Talk to you. Ask a quick question. So I can get you on there. I can't believe it's almost noon and you've not had your breakfast. Oh, shh. Oh, Barista, do you care for some light refreshments? No, thank you. I'm good. Oh, that's fine. You were saying? Yes, as I was saying, I can get you on the flight list based on health grounds. Okay, so how fast can you get this done? It will be hard given the charges that might be brought against your father and the board of Gazelle Incorporated. Um, Marissa, do you think that can... can you not delay the man any further? We're trying to sort things out here. Hey, Tiff, um, I'm so sorry about all of this. I really hope there's a way we can walk around the van. Yeah, thanks, man. But uh, my lawyer is looking into it. I'll still travel, but I'll just be a few days late, right? Yes, I should get on it. Thank you. Okay, great. So I'll talk to U um, Uri and ask him if the delay will not affect you getting into the experimental program. Yeah? Enough? Honestly, I don't need any negative energy around me right now. If your friend thinks that he can kick me out of this is experimental program for being a few days late, then he has no idea what's coming for him. I'm going to go there and I'm going to bang on that door to let me in. Wait, I don't think that's how things work. You need. I'll have my breakfast now, please. Yeah, sure. Mm. That'll be all. Thank you. No, thank you for coming. Here from you, sir. All right, I'm here now. What's the update? <sighs> we have in custody. Waiting for your next command. Okay, uh, release her. I'm sure she would have gotten the message by now. Okay, sir. Good. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. Is everything all right? Yes, just a uh, silly distraction. <laughs> mm. Mm. I see. Mm. So are you going to take the deal offer to you by FCA? 
you know? They really have me in a very tight corner. Well, I think you should take whatever deal they're offering. Snitching on Balarabi will bring great repercussions. Mm. On the other hand, if I don't take this deal with the FCA, they won't allow my son travel for his surgery. Have you spoken with the Namdi? Namdi's not taking his calls. I've called him several times. You know, if Tifto is unable to walk again because they won't let him travel for his surgery, how am I going to tell him that I ruined his life? Hmm? This deal between Voight and Gazelle is officially on hold. My superiors don't know what the issue is, and I would like to keep it that way so that you guys can fix it. Oh, gee, I guess I should follow my knees in gratitude. <sighs> Do we have a problem? You tell me. You're the one who is blowing hot and cold. You, you, one minute you're, you're seducing me, the next minute you're acting like you have a stick up your butt. You come in here acting so... Miss Kiado, I hope you're not busy. And you are... Pardon my manners. Um, my name is Talula. I work for MU. I normally would not barge in like this, but I think I found the solution to the company's problems. I don't know why you think I care who you are while you're here. As you can see, I'm in the middle of an important I meeting. understand. And I also know that this thing with the FCA is a problem for all of us. I know a lot about the um, Federal Financial Code, and going by our records, I think I found something we can use to get them off our trail. Everything we need to challenge them in court is right here in my report. And what did you say your name was again? Talula Anase. Um, I can show you. No, hold on to it. You and I are going for a ride. My dad needs to hear this from you directly. You can give me the details on our way there. Jess, what was that about in there? Tivlo is just under a lot of stress, that's all. I guess. How's your neglect? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Everything is good. Thank you. You're neglecting your own health. You need to take care of yourself. Look, Naf, my only concern right now is Tivlo. I wonder how anyone finds that difficult to understand. I understand. Look, I have to go. I'm going to see my mom. Your mother. Which mother? The one that came back from the dead. I didn't want to bother you and Tilda with all of this, seeing that you guys have a lot of problems already dealing with. So you are the only one who knows about this. Naf, I'm so sorry. This must be a lot to be going through by yourself. Yeah. I'm, uh, my family is messed up, but what can I do? Look, Naf, I'm, I'm sorry I have not been there for you with everything that has happened. Your dad, Ivy, and now your mom. I'm so sorry. Um, look, uh, you need to take care of yourself, too. I know you're looking out for Tiv, but who's looking out for you? Working on transferring your legal guidance from dad to me. Why? Um, I 
Dad's gone. He's dead. Ivy too. They were found dead at home, just like that. They got what they deserved. Like father, like daughter. Ivy was an innocent child under dad's evil thumb. He was the one who destroyed our... Get me out of here. Listen, I'm fine. Mom. There's nothing wrong with Mom, me. Mom, you need to calm down, okay? You can't... Hello? Nafike Malafa. How long do you think you can hide from us? We know where you are. We know you are inside this Blue Fountain Psychiatric Hospital to see your crazy mother. We are watching you. And right now, you are running out of time. Also, I think what is wrong? I'm in a lot of trouble. I owe some guys in the US some money, a huge amount of money. And now they are, they're tracking my every move. Okay, did you borrow money from them to invest in a business? It was a gambling loan. You're a gambler. Mom, no one is perfect. I was banking on using dad's life insurance to pay them back, but now I can't access the money because you are the sole beneficiary. So now, I'm back to square one. Then get me out of here. And the money is yours. Deal? Good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Mm. Dad, mm. this is Talula. She works in the logistics department. And she knows how we can beat the FCA at their own game. She has a solution in her hands. And you? Why did you leave the office without my permission? What are you doing here? I'm here because I know what to do. The company where I worked before, BM, had similar financial trouble with the FCA and I was able to keep them afloat for a very long time. I've done the same for Gazelle Incorporated. It's all in this report. I heard that um, BM eventually shut down after their troubles. So tell me, did your solution to BM's financial woes set them free or did it fast track their shutting down? The company shut down because no one listened to me. Young lady, you sound like you know exactly what you're talking about. I like that. Can I see the report? So, um... If this report of yours eventually bills us out from the clause of the FCA, then we'll be indebted to you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Lola. You're welcome, sir. Right, we have to get going. All right, see you later. MU, nice to see you. Tolera. Why were you so hostile to the girl? It's just a rude girl from... It's not important. 
we have our agenda matters to talk about. How are we handling the Palarabi matter? Why were you so nervous back there? You strike me as a woman with a strong backbone. Um, I guess I just didn't expect to see Emu in there. You did well. I'll make sure my dad reads the report. Thank you. Excuse me, what are you doing here? Abimbola! Abimbola! Come out here and face me! Wait, how did you get in? Security? Security? What is wrong with you? What do you want? Why do you people always have this stupid sense of entitlement? Do you think anybody owes you anything? Do not speak to me that way. How dare you? You have no idea what she has. All right, that's enough. There she is. <laughs> I am right here. You don't have to argue with my daughter like that. Yuma, you can go. I have this under control. Bola. <laughs> you and your husband tried to have me killed, didn't you? Didn't you? You have to be very careful how you throw false accusations around. Admit it. Admit it, admit it, admit it! You did mad. You did Chris. You did... Ah! <laughs> You seem to think that you can do whatever you like. That the Guillardo name makes you invincible. <laughs> How dare you try to kill me? Me! I have been more than patient, but it seems that my patience has been mistaken for foolishness. This will be the last time you and Tefa try something this is foolish. You have no idea what you're talking about. No allow this fool near where they talk this of you. My Chris, they get you, Chris. Get lost. I have named my price, and you will pay. Or I will go to the police and tell them everything I know. And if you so much as harm one strand of hair on my head, my people will set fire to the Gallardo name, and it will. I'm, I'm so, so sorry, Mr. Malafa. But I, I had to let him in. He has a warrant and um... What's going on here? The footage we retrieved from the SD CCTV on the day your father and sister were killed has a man that fits your description entering inside this estate. That same man tried to gain access into this house. Look, Mr. Malafa, could you please explain to me what you were doing in this same house that same day? And why you left that particular piece of information from the, the, the statement you gave us? Next on Unbroken. Where are you coming from at this time? Huh? What is wrong with coming back at this time, Nanley? What, what do you mean? What? what? Nanley! <laughs> Nanley. Jeff, I hope nothing. Look, let me explain. Nanley, <laughs> let me explain. Explain what? Ah. Eh? Come here. Oh, why? Explain what? Eh? 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 You set me up. I will kill you. Mm. 